Hey, and it's time for a quickie. A quickie review, that is, with Duke Gonzo. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah, I mean, you can't then, go wrong with Denzel, man. No. Yeah. He's supposedly <laughs> it, he's supposedly in the new Gladiator movie, too. Yeah, and then he's also been cast as Hannibal, Hannibal Barca. Uh, he and Antoine Fuqua are going to shoot a Hannibal Barca, general Hannibal Barca movie, I think, this year. And, um, you know, of course, everybody's up in arms about, or some people are up in arms about them race swapping Hannibal Barca, even though nobody really knows what skin color the guy was. And I don't think it really necessarily matters as long as the actor is bringing something great to the role. And Denzel does that every time, man. You know? So, I mean. Oh, yeah. That's, if, that's definitely the elephant in the room there. Well, if Sean Connery can play a Moroccan prince with his Scottish accent in The Wind and the Lion, and that's John Milius, okay? Then I think Denzel can play Hannibal Barca because they're two incredible actors, maybe some of the best that we've ever seen. I think easily the best we've ever seen. And, um, you know, I, I don't like the race swapping when it's just for the sake of race swapping. When they do race swap and they bring somebody in who's really talented, you know, like Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury or, um, you know, Red in Shawshank that, um, uh, what's, his, what's his name played? Um, um, who am I thinking of? Why am I blanking Tim, on on, uh, on Robbins? On no, um, oh. Morgan Freeman's character oh, was originally yeah, yeah. He, he was he was written as a white guy in Stephen King's novel. So they race swapped that, but he did an amazing job. Why? Because he's Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman does an amazing job. So you got Money Penny race swapped in the Bond films. Have no issue with that. She's fantastic. She's also really hot. Um, Denzel gosh. had did a, a Shakespeare. Movie yeah. with Kenneth Bra, uh, yeah, way back in the day. He did Hamlet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. So I mean, I mean, this. I mean, Cat. I mean, Eartha Kitt is Catwoman. You're not going to tell me she's awesome. Um, you know, Perry White. You had um, Larry Fishburne. He did a good job. He's not Jackie Cooper, but he did a good job. I thought um, Jackie Cooper was perfect. He's perfect, dude. He's the yeah. he is the ultimate he looks, Perry White. He looks like Perry White. He looks just like him. And then and then I think about even um, Jeffrey Wright. As Jim Gordon in the new Batman, he, he did a great job too. I have no issue with that. So I, I think it's it's it really comes down to uh, case by case, right? And this new Mister and Mrs. Smith, where they race swapped it with um, a black guy and an Asian girl, stupid, stupid. I mean, both yeah. those actors are are, are lightweight. Uh, Donald Glover, I, I I don't think he he does nothing for me. I thought he was okay, Lando. I think anybody really could have played that, um, but. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith worked so well because yeah. of the sexual tension on set between Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And of course, Brad Pitt was with Jennifer Aniston at the time. And that movie is where Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt fell in love and destroyed that relationship. So there's a backstory to that. And on top of that, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were huge, huge, huge stars at the time. So to put these two huge stars, which have, which are maybe two of the most beautiful people on the planet uh, and have all this sexual tension, real life sexual tension behind the scenes is partially why that movie was such a huge success. So I predict the new Mr. and Mrs. Smith will flop. It won't even come close to the original, but that's a great, uh, I think that's a perfect example of race swapping uh, characters where it, it just doesn't work because the actors are, are not heavyweights and therefore they're not really bringing anything interesting uh, to the role. Hail to the king, baby.